In this video, I show you how to speed this up. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Seraldos. In this video, I'm going over why newly imaged VMs can get stuck at please wait for the Windows module installer and what you can do to prevent this with custom images, including images built with Azure Image Builder. Before that, please take a minute to like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell icon for notifications of new content. I ran into this long wait after deploying a custom image in Azure. It seemed to take forever the first time the computer booted with the sysprepped image. The wait was not a problem or doesn't indicate a problem. It could be a problem if you're in a hurry. My point is it's doing exactly what it should. At this stage, the newly imaged computer is detecting hardware and installing drivers that may be needed. It's installing what the OS needs to run. That's good to know, but you may be wondering if there's anything we can do to speed this up. And the answer is yes, with some conditions. The last step in creating an image in Azure is to run sysprep with the out of box experience and generalize option, and then shut down the system at the end before we create the image. There's one more option to be aware of, mode VM. Mode VM is used when creating an image on the same hypervisor you're deploying the image to. So for example, if you create an image on Hyper-V that will be deployed to Hyper-V, adding mode VM essentially tells sysprep to skip detecting new hardware and use what it already has. This works for Azure as well. By adding the mode VM switch to sysprep, we can speed up the first boot. This switch tells sysprep that the image will be deployed to the same hypervisor, skipping the step at the boot that scans for hardware and causes the Windows module installer wait. There are a couple things to be aware of. The only switches that work with mode VM include generalize, OOBE, or out of box experience, reboot, shutdown, and quit. You can only deploy the image to a VM with the same hardware profile. Also, the mode VM option is only available for VMs. I'm going to cover two items in the demo. First, I'm going to show you how to run sysprep in an Azure VM, then capture the image and build a VM from that image. We should get a much quicker start with that VM using the mode VM switch. Next, I'm going to show you how to configure Image Builder to use the same command to build an image that boots faster. Let's get started in the portal. Here we are in the template VM we'll use for creating the image. And I'm in the C Windows System32 sysprep directory. And if I run sysprep.exe, we get the standard GUI interface where we can set the out of box experience, generalize, and then set it to shut down. Those are the only options available through the GUI. Let's close that. Let's run sysprep again, this time passing in generalize, shut down, we'll set it to out of box experience, and then lastly add mode VM. By using the command line, we can pass in the mode VM option. We'll hit enter and let that run. This will take a few minutes to finish. I'll pause here and come back once it's done. Sysprep finished, the virtual machine is shut down. Next, we're going to capture an image. So from within the VM, we'll go to Capture. And I will not save it to a shared image gallery. I'll leave the resource group as it is. Automatically delete the VM and give it a name. We'll call this Win 10 Multi Mode VM. That will be the image name. I'll leave tags as is and go to review and create. And once validation passes, click create. This again will take a few minutes, so I'll pause here and come back once it's finished. Okay, that finished, now I have my image. So I'm gonna go back to the resource group and let's delete these resources that are no longer in use. Here's the image we just created. Let's go in and create a new VM. We'll call this Win 10 Mode VM. We'll use the image we just created. I'll leave the size as a B2MS. 
We'll give it a username and password. We'll set the licensing type to Windows Client and confirm that we have the rights. Go to Disks, and I'll just change this to a standard SSD. Select my existing network. Well, this is pretty standard stuff for deploying a VM. And we'll go to Review and Create. Once validation passes, we'll create the VM. We'll just give this a minute to finish, and like before, I'll pause here and come back once it's done. Okay, the deployment finished. Let's go to the resource. And we'll connect to it. Here we are logging in. And as you can see, it bypassed the waiting for Windows module installer step. The login is much faster using the mode VM switch compared to sysprepping an image without it. Let's review how sysprep is ran when using Azure Image Builder. If you'd like to learn more about Image Builder, check out my video series on Azure Image Builder. I'll include the link above. When Image Builder runs, it creates a deprovisioning script at the root of the C drive on the build VM. Let's take a look at that. A little bit more than halfway through this file, there's a line that runs sysprep. Notice there's no mode VM option in the sysprep command. We have to update this file somehow, so when a build is ran, it will include the mode VM switch in this section of the script. For this example, I'm going to include inline PowerShell commands in the image builder template to update the sysprep command in the deprovisioning script. Let's take a look at that. Here's the command that I'll run. I'll include this block of code in the accompanying blog post. Check for a link below. I'm gonna copy this, and we'll go over to the template and paste it in. We'll format the document. This is a PowerShell customization, ran elevated. It has the name of deprovisioning script. The inline command is going to get the content of the C deprovisioning script.ps1, and it'll run the replace switch to look for a sysprep, OOBE, generalize, quiet, quit, and it'll replace that with a string sysprep.exe, OOBE, generalize, quit, mode, VM. And then it'll overwrite the existing file with the updated file. Another option, instead of running an inline command to modify this, would be to create an updated version of the deprovisioning script.ps1. Include that with the install media that you're downloading as the image builds, and then run a command to copy that to the root of the C drive, overwriting the one that's there. I'll also point out one of the options that's missing from this command that we did include when we ran it interactively is the shutdown switch. The deprovisioning process will take care of the shutdown. With this block of code added to the template, when we deploy the template, it'll then update the deprovisioning script.ps1 with this new command, creating an image that will be much faster with the initial boot. Thanks for joining me. I hope this helps you speed up your image deployment. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.